All right, we are here at NVIDIA GDC, and look who I have with me, Joseph from NetApp and Eman from Protopia AI. We excited to chat about uh, NetApp and Protopia AI, but how about you start with uh, introducing yourself and what are you working on? Eman, maybe you? Yeah, of course. Thanks, Ravid, for having us here, and super exciting to be here with Josep. Uh, from NetApp, uh, one of our longest standing partners now. Yeah. Um, and at Protopia, obviously, we've uh, been working on providing data security solutions for right. um, data that is being fed into AI models uh, for a few years now. And uh, this is a problem that we've been exploring with partners like NetApp uh, from the very beginning of that journey because of how NetApp houses a lot of uh, the data for uh, many different enterprises yes. across the world. So. Um, love, love this partnership and this is a uh, exciting time to be able to expand that as uh, as we're going into this next phase with uh, AI and generative AI. Very exciting. Joseb? Um, yeah, my name is Joseb. I work for NetApp. We're a hybrid cloud data management uh, company. We've been around for many decades and uh, we're very uh, excited with the partnership with Protopia. Obviously, as Imam mentioned, the partnership goes longer than uh, the Gen AI era. Uh, if you would like to, say, to call it that way, and the LLM. Yeah. So we, um, we're again, uh, we're excited to extend that partnership as well to to multiple different cloud providers and and on premises, and to our own enterprise customers who are owning the data. And as Jensen said, they are sitting on a gold rush. So. Oh yes, yeah. you're right about that, 100 uh, percent. Quickly, uh, since we are on this topic of partnership as well, uh, can you tell us more about? the problems that these enterprise customers are facing? Can you tell us a little about the challenges as well, just for our audience to learn? Yeah, very good question. And that's where our partnership really comes into the play because if you think about it, so NetApp today have been storing data, and as Jensen mentioned yesterday, half of world's files, more than, yeah. <laughs> half of world's files sit on NetApp, NetApp today, true. whether it's in on-premises, whether it's in the cloud. I mean, think about it, right? We've been serving enterprise customers for 30 plus years, since 1990s. Right. And then when, when that becomes now a gold mine, these customers would love to access that data wherever it is. Now with the surplus of these cloud providers, whether it's the major hyperscalers or the other cloud providers that you know, NVIDIA is working as partners with them, the data security and the data privacy becomes a very big challenge and issue. You guys have seen yesterday, if you haven't watched uh, the keynote yet, we announced the integration with the Nemo Retriever, which is basically <laughs> enabling NVIDIA and their customers and our customers jointly, and of course Protopia's customers, to go and retrieve the data and retrain and fine tune the model without jeopardizing the, you know, without even you know, touching the data, if you would like, True. right? It's, uh, it, we are talking to the data without letting the data leave wherever it is, without moving, copying, and all the different things that would put the data at risk, yes. right? And then um, I'll, I'll let Iman, uh, add on in terms of the Protopia partnership, yes. that's where the privacy and other things come into the place. So Iman, if you want to yeah. add on, on that. Yeah, I think um, just pointing back to how we've, we've been working on this problem with this partnership for a few years now, we initially would see this problem around data security and how data is exposed to the models, even before language models with public sector around visual data, for yep. instance. And that was one of the first problems that we collaborated on as companies was providing a solution in the public sector that enabled visual data to be analyzed without the data being exposed to the infrastructure that's, that's doing the analysis. And I think that problem of retaining ownership of the data mm -hmm. at the root of trust and the trust zone for that data, which is the NetApp storage system in many cases, um, that that's where the problem comes into play. Of how do they, how does the data owner retain that ownership at that root of trust, but be able to use compute wherever it is that that compute lives? So that that's how we, we view the problem. That problem hasn't really changed. The problem has just become a lot more widespread over the years, especially with uh, these new application domains. Okay, that's very interesting. Yeah, I think um, the way we're calling it is people were talking about the hybrid cloud all the time, and NetApp's presence in the major three hyperscalers as a cloud native solution, and our long history on on-premises business, yeah. we believe that this is the very first true hybrid cloud workload that will stay hybrid cloud, right? Mm. Because again, all the announcements yesterday, there's also come challenges with the power, cooling, and and you know we're lucky to have these hyperscalers who are taking this 
big burdens of the, the scale and all building those, exactly. those offerings yeah. for customers to leverage that. Now, these are all great. Containers will help move the applications around. The biggest elephant in the room is the data, data. right? Sure. That's where yes. we come in together with Protopia. And all what we want to do is let customers innovate, let customers bypass the barriers of the data. And we don't want customers to say, hey, the technology is moving really fast. Right. My data is my problem because, again, it's everywhere and I cannot get it somewhere to get access to, right? So I think that is the biggest challenge we start going to see because, again, NVIDIA is moving fast. It's right. really fast. Like you guys have seen the announcements. It's oh yeah. The data is becoming piles and piles and piles and it's different places. Yeah. It's our turn to come in and say, all right, we create that layer wherever you want the GPUs cool. to be, you get access to the data you want to train the models, right? Yeah. And then on top of that, with Gen AI inferencing becoming an important piece, right? That's inferencing data getting generated is gonna be stored somewhere. Yeah. That's another issue, right? And that's where you again, with, with Protopia, when we apply their technology, we're preserving both security and privacy. They are completely different things. We need to figure it out, right? Yeah. Security is all related about someone getting, either messing up with your data, accessing your data. Privacy is someone knowing what's in that data, in that? right? Yeah. So that is where we add to each other to complement that story and make it even more secure for our customers to use. Yeah, I think the customers are super happy listening to something like this because it becomes easier for them as well. And uh, I think the customer first approach that you guys have is fantastic. Just a little about you know getting into say the future as well. Where do you see it going? How does this partnership bring more to the customers? How, what's your plan? Yeah, I'll um, I'll add it and then I'll let yeah. uh, Imam finish it up. I think we're gonna. We are going to leverage the long history that we have started together and, and even the partnership from the early days. We're going to uh, put that into work more and more in terms yep. of joint collaboration, joint innovation, yep. uh, joint work, pipeline building, customers, right? And all that comes with mutual collaboration. collaboration. And this is why we're here together. This is why we are promoting our partnership and obviously um, NVIDIA is a big part of this, so uh, Iman, what, what do you want to add to that? Yeah, I think when we think about what comes next, right, um, again, when we focus on NetApp as this uh, route of trust for the customer, where they're already keeping their data secure, yeah. um, and NetApp having this push towards enabling their customers with all of the applications that they want to apply right. that data to, where this partnership can expand to is essentially providing support for whatever hybrid cloud environment that the NetApp customer has yeah. across one or multiple different clouds where they will find compute that they're trying to get that data to. Our partnership is about enabling that for both a variety of target models right. with structured, unstructured, semi-structured data, as well as whatever cloud environment that compute lives on. Right. And so being able to expand into those cloud environments and cover many different types of applications is yeah. where we focus on and the drive comes obviously from the customer. What is it that they're most interested in yes. seeing, right? Today it's RAG, but one of the things that we will see going forward, I think, is that the customer will dream up new applications that mm. they can build or use their data with based on what data they can actually Absolutely. unlock to send there. Right. Yeah. So that, that's another axis of that uh, collaboration expanding. Yeah, yeah. I, I love the collaboration that you guys have for sure. Yeah, um, well, any other questions? No, I think this is it, this is great. Thanks uh, for doing this, thanks for visiting the Robert Show. Uh, we'll definitely be sharing your handles with our uh, audiences so they can reach out to you. But uh, once again, thanks Iman, thanks Josep. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very See you much. soon.